And scientists at the Royal Ontario Museum got a close-up look today inside a rare meteorite that was discovered in Saskatchewan last year. They hope it will help them learn more about the early universe. The CBC's Joanna Romiliotis was there as they cut the space rock open. A long time ago, no one really knows when, it fell from the sky and landed in this farmer's field. An extraordinary relic of a very, very distant past. Derek Thompson's family owns the land now. It's actually overpowering, it's overwhelming that something has come from, it was formed at the beginning of the solar system, is on your ground. It's, it's, you can't just go run down to the local 7-Eleven or Walmart and buy a chunk of meteorite. That's and not just any old meteorite. This is a sliver of a palisite, extremely rare and extremely old. Although, at first glance... This looks like a big rock. <laughs> yes, and you'd easily just walk by it. Ian Nicklin is a mineral expert at the Royal Ontario Museum, now home to the largest palisite found in Canada. There are little time capsules, little snapshots in time that are frozen from four and a half to, say, 4.4 you know, 4 billion years ago. And they, they show us features and textures of things that we, we, we don't see anywhere else anymore. Experts believe palisite meteorites come from the deepest cores of asteroids that collided in space. They're literally fragments from the beginning of time which plummet to the Earth. Well, I'm holding a piece of a brave new world, a world that may not even exist anymore. Other pieces of space rock were first found in that farmer's field in Saskatchewan back in 1931. But there was always talk this bigger chunk was out there. It wasn't until many decades later, though, that someone went on a treasure hunt to find it. Uh, these are mostly palisites. That would be Michael Farmer, a professional meteorite hunter with a dazzling collection of his own. Farmer dug up the original Saskatchewan documents from the 1930s to recreate a treasure map and two years ago went looking for the big one. It took seven months and ATVs equipped with scanners to find it. When we saw in the hole that piece sticking out, we, we were just insane. You know, We didn't know how big it was, but we knew it was very large. It was quite an exciting time. The palisite, weighing nearly 53 kilograms, is valued at about a million dollars, but the museum won't say how much it paid for it, only that it could help unravel the origins of our solar system, and that is priceless. And the hope is there are more like it, strewn on that farmer's field, just waiting to be discovered. Joanna Bermeliotis, CBC News, Toronto. For a better idea of just how rare a palisite meteorite is, have a look at the numbers. Roughly 35,000 meteorites have been found on Earth. Of those, just 84 have been palisites. And only three of them have been found in Canada.